give thanks for this comment right here. It gives the opportunity for me to elucidate and enlighten, educate. All right? So let me do it properly now. Bring everybody, everybody that you know on the planet to listen to this. I am a cosmic portal. I bring you prime time information at this time so that you can ascend. All right? Some of us will be going through the ascension, some descending as well. All right? But let us separate truth from opinions and the noise. All right? So, I don't understand everything you speak. I get the first sentence, not the last part of it. The father is black. Isn't that half black and mix? Baby? All right. So, before, let me just explain the process of... Um, sperm epigenetics and egg genetics real quick so that we can build the foundation now in previous video i said if you are to understand the woman's reproductive health then we must understand the egg the ovum the ovum genetics okay so in order to understand the woman's reproductive health and overall health and who is she and where she is from, you must study the X chromosomes. In this case, we are going to study the X chromosomes, which is responsible for the production of the egg during ovulation from the ovary. Okay. Now, when you look inside of that egg, it has a nucleus, right? Within the nucleus, you have the chromosomes. All right? Right. They have all the genetic blueprint and information right there. Okay? Great. Now, when you look at the genetic information that is in the nucleus, what we realize is that it gives rise to a epigenetic coding. And epigenetics is just response of the gene above the chromosome. So it's a chromosomal response above, the, uh, above the, the, the DNA levels. Okay? So you have DNA, you have the chromosomes. On the chromosomes, you have genes. And within the genes, you have DNA. Okay? So when the chromosomes are sitting there, floating around in the nucleus, conditions in the environment can turn on and turn off genes. Okay? This is what we call epigenetics. So when genes are switched on, they create mechanistic pathway to the production of a particular protein. It could be for tall, right? For height, a protein coding for height, for, for being tall. So something is happening in the environment. Probably you can't reach your food on the tree. But of course, you switch on a gene in the body and you are now able to make offsprings that are taller than the previous offspring so that they can now reach the apple, for example, okay? So this switching on of the, the signals for taller species is what I call epigenetic because it gives the exact mechanistic pathway to being tall. I am saying this to say the black woman's body, genet genome, is cosmically wired, meaning that the epigenetic pathways that she produces from her genome is divine. She came in. Nobody can ever figure out when this woman was made, when she came about. It's all speculations, okay? When they look at the genetics of the woman using the egg, the, the behavior of the egg is, is like a, magne a giant magnetic um, resonance, magnetic field. You see? It is more cosmic in its carbon than anything else. You see, the carbon is cosmic. So, the environment switches on a series of epigenetic pathways in the woman's ovum or the egg. And it is locked in place by what they call pee interfering or interacting RNAs. Okay? So, these are real things that keep the gen epigenetic coding locked in place scientists have spent so many years 
almost 20 years now trying to figure out how they can break down this spirit um interacting um rna now this epigenetic wiring that is locked into the ovum is naturally passed to the baby boy and the baby girl so if the woman should have a baby boy on the y chromosome and the x chromosome the frequency the, ep the genetic frequency is locked into the x chromosome but there is the epigenetic frequency from the genetic frequency of the woman that is also locked into the male's y chromosome did you hear that the genetic information of the woman is locked into the boy. If it's a boy, he has XY chromosome. The genetic information of the mother is locked into the X chromosome. The epigenetic information of the woman from her genetic information is locked into the Y chromosome of the man. Okay? So, why is this important? The epigenetic information is how you will transfer... The, co the cosmic consciousness. You see? The, the X chromosome is that it controls the cosmic consciousness. And cosmic consciousness is, is seen as black, dark matter. So we don't want to confuse black people and it, it, it's kind of ridiculous. But when I talk about black, in this respect, I'm talking about cosmic consciousness. It's a frequency. Black is a frequency. It's an electromagnetic frequency. A high cosmic frequency. It's not a color. It might appear to your eyes like a color. But it's a frequency. Now I'm saying this to say. During if a white woman should mate with a black man. Right? Oftentimes you see a white baby coming. A mix, a mix with, you know, but not looking black. Okay? Might have a little of the woolly type of hair or mix. But you can definitely see that. The child is not black as the father, okay? In most cases. And I'm attempting to explain this. That during fertilization, and fertilization is the joining of the nucleus of the egg and the joining of the, the nucleus of the sperm, okay? It's not the joining of the sperm and the egg. It's the joining, the fusion of the sperm nucleus and the egg nucleus, Okay? Now, during fertilization, the sperm swim in, up the vaginal canal to the uterus. If the egg is in the uterus, great. But oftentimes, it, it, it is in the fallopian tube. So, the sperm cells swim to the fallopian tube, depending on how much fructose is in that sperm cell and how much mitochondria. And the mitochondria is a signature of the, woman's as well, of, of the mother as well. Okay? So, they swim up. And the successful sperm will be able to penetrate only after all the sperms amalgamate around the egg and create a resonance frequency which raises up the egg so that one of the egg, one of the sperm cells can penetrate the membrane. When this sperm cell penetrates the membrane, it releases substances in the membrane that further breaks it down. But later on, a cascade event occurs with calcium being released, which then goes back and solidify the membrane, seal the membrane off so that no other sperm cell could fertilize it. Okay? After this happens, the, sperms, the sperm cell nucleus and the egg cell nucleus start move together. This is where the magic happens. When the sperm cell moves over, the egg cell nucleus, so they move like an upper wheel and a lower wheel. So the lower wheel is spinning this way, the upper wheel is spinning this way, right? This is how the nucleus fuse together, all right? So two nuclei being fused together, the male and the female nuclei. This is what is called fertilization, but fertilization is only achieved when the resonant, the magnetic resonance is stabilized and achieved. If it is not stabilized and achieved at high frequency, then it is hard for the epigenetics of the male black essence to pass on to the child. Okay? And this is what happens in many cases. The epigenetic frequency is low. So the baby is of a lighter complexion. Okay? That's it.